Hey girl, hey, welcome to Getting Younger, the show for younger fans by younger fans. I'm your host, Taylor Strecker, coming to you live from Union Square in New York City. And if you're as obsessed with younger as I am, then you came to the right place. Tell me what you wanna talk about tonight, it's your show. Send questions, comments, and also vote in our very first fan poll. So here we go. They may be on the rocks right now, but do you think Liza and Charles are end game? So vote yes or no, end game all the way, or nope, they're game over. Okay, and I also, I know there have been some, uh, like, confusion with where you vote. Just vote right here, right down here uh, on Facebook in the comment section below, and we automatically tally all your votes. Technology, am I right? It's amazing. So type your answers now, and we'll get to them in about four minutes. But right now, it's time to introduce my guest of the night, Molly Bernard. Hey, girl. Yay, hi. Girl, this is the first time we've ever had one oh. person on. Wait, I'm first one person your ever? First one, yep, your first one person ever. Oh my dog. Well, on this season. Oh, great. What a, what a relief, honestly, because <laughs> I didn't want to share this couch. Uh-uh, girl, you're queen. Uh, thank you. You're welcome, thank you're you. welcome. We're gonna have a lot of fun tonight. I can't wait. We've got games to play. Great. Questions from the fans. Excellent, Holes always. galore. And of course, we can't forget our cocktail of the night. It's called the close call, L I mean, Liza, literally. <laughs> close call all the time. And let's just say tonight, uh, Liza's gonna actually have a close call in tonight's episode, but you didn't hear that one from me. Okay, so cheers, girl. <laughs> cheers, my love. Enjoy your cocktail. What's your cocktail choice, girl? Um, this is honestly just a little bit of vodka and seltzer water. You're not feeling? The close call, it's making you too nervous. It's so hot in New York right now. I Bourbon know. would make me feel really hot. I know, right? Yeah. It's, well, it's technically like an old fashioned. It is, and actually I love an old fashioned, but I didn't know that was the drink and then I opted just for that, so. Do you want a swapsies? I might have a sip of yours Okay. In a moment, yeah. It's my grandmother's Recipe? favorite. Recipe? Favorite, yes, correct. <laughs> you just insulted nice. my grandmother. Wait, why? <laughs> just oh my God, no, I'll try it, of course. No, 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 Muffner, rest in peace. And yes, she made us call her Muffner. Isn't that the best grandma name ever? Sweet. You want to know, don't you? so sweet. <laughs> no, I really want to be Grandma Molly, and I can't wait. I want to play dead. I'm going to do all sorts of <laughs> terrible things to those children. They're going to be like, oh, God, she's wonderful. But she plays dead, man. All the time. It's I scary. come in, and she's like, <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> That's like, I cannot wait. My dad used to do that to me. Really? It was fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll never do it to my children, but grandkids. <laughs> I love it. So while we uh, play dead <laughs> and sip on our drinks, let's look back at last week's episode of Younger, which had a very close call of its own. Watch this. This isn't going to work. You're angry with me, and you're not going to like any writer that I bring in here. That's going to hobble Millennial and probably ruin Kelsey's career too, and that's not fair to anyone, so I'm bowing out. The only thing threatening Millennial is the lie you've been telling since you got here. You can be mad at me. I deserve that. But you can't take it out on a writer I bring in here. It's not what I did. So that wasn't personal. No, uh, personal would be asking if, if Don dropped a trail of breadcrumbs from his pocket in case you got separated at the people party. But passing on a half-baked, poorly conceived book idea I didn't like, that's, that's business. And I trust you can see the distinction. I do. Excellent. Please close the door on your way out. God, that's, he gets me every time. Okay, Molly, thoughts on all that just went down? I have so many thoughts. First of all, how good are they this season? So like, good. Sutton is unbelievable. Unreal. Peter is effing fantastic. Mm -hmm. And like, they're, the fact that that tension is oh. so thick, I just like cannot, it's so sexy. We call it bitchy Charles, which I think is fair. Yes. He's quite bitchy. He's horrible. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, the thing is, so the fans are like really upset this season because of this like tension. I mean, last year it was Liza and Kelsey. That yeah. was hard. That was very hard. Do you think this is harder? Yes, watch? because they're in, I, I don't know. I think they're in love with each other. Oh, girl. So I think there's like, there's real hurt. There's. Do you think he's justified in his feelings? Yes. Yes. She's a liar. We all forget this. Oh, no, but don't you think she lied with purpose it doesn't for matter. a good reason? She mm. did lie for a good reason. She lied with purpose, but she's a liar. Okay, so Molly is calling her a liar. I wonder what Lauren would think. Oh, no, Liza Lauren would love it. Uh, would love it. She would high five her. Yes. yes Lauren queen. would be like, you are my hero. <laughs> okay, let's play that sound one more time. 
Liza, there we go. That sound means poll results are in. Oh, got uh -huh. it. Of, course, okay. of course. So are Liza and Charles endgame and majority said endgame, which means together. I mean, I guess forever or for at least a season. Whoa. They're positive thinking right now. I like that. Don't, I know you know, so don't give anything away, but what do you think about the audience's uh, temperature on the season thus far, if that's their results? Without giving anything away, I think that's intuitive. And mm. I, think, I think that's sweet. I, you know, them as an end game is exciting. Must be. Let's hope so, fingers crossed. Okay, so let's get to another poll. Last week, oh my goodness gracious, we met uh, the writer, and I guess we could call him a free food fanatic, Don Ridley. If you saw a grown man put a pork chop in his friggin' pocket at a party, would you offer him a grocery gift card? <laughs> Ask him, is that a pork chop in your pocket or are you just happy to see me? That one kills me to say. Make a <laughs> citizen's arrest for chop lifting or slip a side of applesauce into his pocket to go with the chop. Cast your vote by typing in the comments, your comments below, and we'll get to it in about five minutes. And don't forget, keep those questions and comments coming for Molly as well. Okay, Molly, before we get into questions, fan questions for you. Have I ever stolen food from a party? Have you ever had a very bizarre encounter on a date? I mean, I guess it wasn't technically a date, but it, it felt like a flirtation. And then he's like, he's stealing the meat. Okay, so no one has ever uh, stolen the meat, as it were. Nice. Any weird shit has happened? I, I mean, weird stuff must have happened. I think I just get really good at like blacking it out. Right? I forget the bad. Yes. Oh, but I have taken food from parties before. Okay, tell me what and, 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 and how. So dumb, like zucchini sticks in, <laughs> in a napkin. I've been like, well, these are particularly crunchy this evening. These, these like must be from pocket. a farmer's market. <laughs> napkin. I went through a sleeping phase, which is actually worse, because then you wake up and you're like, who done it? And you're like, me, <laughs> why? Because I was hungry. <gasps> I was dieting during the Sleep those eating. <laughs> I was depriving myself. Oh my God, I'm so sorry sad. that happened. Well, because no. I feel like you could maybe choke if you're sleep eating. You, lots of things can happen. Well, my girlfriend recently caught me eating goldfish in the closet. That's not a euphemism. Oh it was God, just in the Taylor. closet eating goldfish. <laughs> okay, <laughs> anyway. Please video it next time. L I promise we I will. That. I, actually, we, we have a video, I'll send it to you. Please do. It's in the dark, because it was the middle of the night. Okay, let's get to some fan questions right now. Lisa F says, I would love to know when or how she will react when Lauren finds out about Liza's age. I feel like I actually beat your question to the punch. I'm sorry, girl. So re-answer it again. Ah, okay. I feel like Lauren will be desperately impressed and so happy, or, or, and I say this all the time, and I wish the writers would just do this for me, but now they're not going to because it's like my wish. <laughs> I, want, I want Lauren to find out, I want like Kelsey to tell Lauren, yes. or Liza to out herself, and for, me, for Lauren to be like, oh no, I've known that. Yeah, I feel like she is, speaking of being intuitive, so intuitive, she just knows. Yeah. And is gonna keep that secret, she's so proud of her. Yes. It's a very, it's a, it, I feel like it is a empowering thing to do, what Liza's doing. A lie. I think so too. Yes, but empowering nonetheless. It, it is, yes, no, my conundrum with it is that it, it, it is a lie. The, the, and so she's deceived people that have come to care about her and yes. that she cares about. And at what point does a self-serving lie, a lie that you need to tell, become toxic in the lives of the people you care about? Do we know when you're gonna find out or when Lauren's gonna find out? I have no idea. No inkling? I don't know. I have no idea. I'm so excited. What is that gonna look like? I'm looking so forward to it. I know. Okay, another question to keep the questions coming, guys. Rachel P says, Molly, thank you for being so fab. In a recent interview, you said that Lauren has inspired you. Has there been a moment recently where you infused a bit of Lauren into your life, XOXO? Yes, Rachel P. Okay, so I just turned 30. Yes, you and, did, girl. Um, Thank goodness I'm on like the right side of life at this point. Isn't 30 good? It's the best and I've just been hearing people say that for, yep. for ages and I was like, let me get out of these like stressful, like ailing 20s and mm -hmm. I did, I finally made it to the other side. But I threw myself the craziest, biggest party for my 30th birthday. A hot, a hot mitzvah? I threw myself a hot mitzvah <laughs> and I invited so many people and I rented out a bar, like a really hip, beautiful bar in Brooklyn. I rented out the bar Doris. I love this. And had like, the best night. In fact, wait, I wore this outfit for my 30th birthday. I like wore this to my 30th birthday party and I went nuts. I stood on top of the bar, I made a speech and here's how Lauren specifically influenced me is that I, I'm like, 
I'm not really a partier. I'm kind of like 9 p.m. and I'm like, well, I should maybe start preparing for bed. I don't know. Or I have radical insomnia. But I got on the bar and I was like, I hope everybody blacks out yeah. tonight. <laughs> My only goal. And it was uh, really not me, but very inspired by Lauren. And did that, was that mission accomplished? A lot of people did, and your girl included. A <laughs> girl, girl included. good, I like that. Okay, one last fan question for this round. Don't worry, there'll be more, so keep them coming in the comment section below. Adam R says, Molly, what's the most challenging part about playing Lauren? Such great questions. You know, that's a great question specifically because I've now had the like joy of playing her for five oh. seasons and I have learned so much from her. The hardest part is that she demands um, an amount of confidence that I don't naturally possess. I'm very, very self-conscious. I'm kind of like a little self-loathing. Well, this is part of the struggle of my 20s was kind of growing into my own skin and feeling uh, really kind of fundamentally okay. Mm -hmm. um, and so off, the hardest part for, about playing Lauren used to be like manifesting that just sheer confidence. Yes. And now it's like, it's turned into a gift because now I have a little bit of that in my life. I love that. I love that. It's Lauren is. Liza. Yeah. Lauren is fabulous and I am being instructed to go to another fan poll. Okay? Liza. <laughs> so if you saw a grown Ask man, put a pork chop in his pocket at a party. Would you get him a gift card? Uh, say, hey, happy to see me, or is that a pork chop? Chop lift, arrest him for chop lifting, or uh, give him some applesauce. And applesauce won. Wow, I'm so happy that my producer told me that because I now I can see. This uh, last last episode I was squinting. I can see, but now I can't read numbers, which is a very brand new. Oh. Um, yeah, learning disability that, that I created right here, right now. Oh. So applesauce, oh. you really, you would give a grown man some wet applesauce disgusting. to add to the board job. Completely disgusting. I would honestly do a citizen's arrest. I would for for, And I'd be like, sir, you are chop lifting. <laughs> <laughs> this is a citizen's arrest specifically for chop lifting. I can take you down to the courthouse. How would you arrest him? With what? What on hand? Like with a wink. And I'd be like, it's okay. I don't believe in the carceral <laughs> state. I don't believe in jail. I'm not actually arresting you. This is fun. <laughs> <laughs> We're just flirting. Okay, it's time for another poll. And this one is very Lauren centric. Okay. So if Lauren got her own spinoff show. Yeah. Yes, please, baby Jeebus. What would you want it to be called? Heller on wheels, saved by the Heller, pansexual in the city, how I met your Heller. <laughs> okay, start voting by typing your answer in the comment section below. <laughs> That's and we're so gonna get funny. to it in just a little bit, okay? Funny. And we're gonna get yeah. your, your temperature on that as well. Right now though, it's game time. Are you ready? Yes. So let's play blank you. Okay. Okay. Lauren is known for her quirky comments and amazing comebacks. So she we is? picked some of our favorites, but we left some words uh, in the line blank. So we're gonna see who can remember them better. Molly or the fans. Okay. You're competing against your people right now. Oh, okay. Okay, and you guys are working collectively as a team. So like make sure to vote because if you see it going in a direction you don't like, you have the power to shift that. So it's multiple choice. I'm gonna give you options of the blanks, what could go in there. And just again, answer in that comment section below. And we'll see who knows Lauren Heller better, you or them. Who do you think? Uh, potentially them. Yeah, right? Maybe. Do it when you memorize it, it like, when you memorize the line, but is it like, it just goes away afterwards? It depends how busy the season is or, or, or how kind of instrumental the line is. Like, I know more of my lines from season one than from last, from this season. It's like studying for the SATs. Yeah, yeah. It's like in, in, in the ear, in the brain, on the paper, it's gone forever. T totally. Yeah. Totally. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. The world will be a far better place if everyone was blank. Gay. Buddhist, polyamorous, or single? Cast your votes right now, guys, in the comment section below. Don't forget, you're working together as a team. Molly, you look like kind of perplexed. I think I know what it is. I know what it is. I know I have the answers, so that's unfair. But I know <laughs> in my heart what it is. I know without the answers. I, I, I think I, I'm pretty sure it's polyamorous. Okay, that's your guess? And I think it was in a scene with Kathy Najimy. Okay. The audience, wait, oh shh. The audience was saying gay, then you said oh. polyamorous, and then the audience switched polyamorous. Okay, but shoot, is it gay? I don't know if it's gay, you guys, I don't know. Oh, it might be gay. Oh, I feel like it was back. Look at the power you have. <laughs> okay, let's go look at the clip. Yes, I need to see the clip. <laughs> go to the clip. Go to the clip. 
Please. The world would be a far better place if everyone was polyamorous. You and dad included. <gasps> I knew it. Yay! Because I, I remember I was like, yeah, she's so woke. Oh, she is What's, so woke. What season is that? That is season one, because I have brown hair and long bangs and long hair and Kathy and Jamie's there, season one. Yep, yep. Lauren was so cool in season one. Okay, audience and Molly both got it right, so you're tied right now. Yay. I like that, it's like a friendly competition. Yeah. Okay, here is the next one. Blank is just another word for low self-esteem, okay? <laughs> I know this, um, I'm not gonna tell that. <laughs> here are your options, cardigan, privacy, Straight, can you imagine? Straight is just another word for low self-esteem. <laughs> or vegan, uh, cast your votes right now. I mean, cardigan, I don't know if it is the proper answer, but it should be. It should be, and these are really good alternatives. Aren't like, they amazing? Yes, they are really good. <laughs> I know, okay, so I actually, again, know the answers because I have them in front of me. Do you know in your I, heart of hearts this one? In my heart of hearts, I know it. Is so. there a reason why, like, do certain lines just stick with you because they make you laugh? Or? I found this one particularly funny, yeah. Yes. And also Sutton could not keep a straight face when I said it to her. Okay, so let's... Uh, Nor let, could Nico in the table read when vegan. I Vegan, vegan is winning right now. Vegan, let's you go guys, and no. let's see what what the actual word is. Privacy is just another word for low self-esteem. Okay, Liza, you don't value anything you say or do. That's why you're still an assistant. <laughs> it's the best, and it's so true. Oh, she's so sassy. And I can't believe you guys are vegan, but it kind of makes me love you guys so much. Yep, oh, did Molly choose? She chose, right? I oh. chose what? She chose in her brain, and we're telepathically connected. Wait, I chose what? You chose privacy. Of course I did. Of course she did. She knows her lines. <laughs> LOL, I'm funny. Molly wins it because she's just so adorable. And no, I knew you knew. You knew, right? I knew, of course I knew. Did you know? I did, I told you I knew. That's why okay. I didn't answer. And I knew the answer, so therefore, we knew she knew. But you guys picked vegan, which is hysterical. That's so sweet, you guys. I love that. That should be that's the... That's so sweet. That's actually true. I'm just kidding to all the vegans, okay? Don't vegan. come kill me. Okay, uh, next up, Kelsey and Thad, to your love, may it be wild, beautiful, dangerous, and blank, magical? Is it dirty, majestic, or sweaty? Cast your votes right now. Um, you got this one? I totally remember this because this episode was so fun to shoot. And y'all, I had a bird on my hand. Oh, and when she I might have just given line. a good hint. If you are a super fan, because for me, I couldn't remember this one to save my life. I had a falcon on my hand. Get, get that. You're gonna give it up. Like, Why? Yeah. I don't know, because then they'll remember the scene. Although, oh. I guess that's fair enough. That's fair. I, I could not get this one for the life of me. Well, and then they're I getting the it right, and they're amazing. And I was like, it's How do they know this? Freaking fantastic. Okay, let's. So, you guys are gonna. You're saying majestic, so. No, switch Molly, it back, y'all. Switch it back. What do you back. think? Well, now they switched it to dirty. Oh, God, you guys are just all over the place. Okay, so dirty, majestic. Do we wanna get Molly before we go to the clip? Molly, what do you think? It's majestic. She thinks it's majestic. <laughs> Let's go to the clip. Kelsey and Thad, to your love, may it be wild, beautiful, dangerous, and majestic. Swoop, Bonnie, swoop! <laughs> it's just so... So Lauren, that it's was like so my good. favorite episode. I love your outfit. I love Nuts. your speech. I love the Falcon. I loved that whole thing. It was so weird, and that episode was so fun. Well, you could plan my second wedding any day. Oh, I will. <laughs> all Taylor Square, all Falcon. Come and all. on. By the way, audience, you got that wrong. You went with dirty, which I think is a really good Lauren guess because yeah. she's so. Dirty. Okay, so it's Molly three, audience one. Okay, guys. So this one's just for vanity's sake, right? Because she's already won, but it's a great one. So here we go. Kelsey has a very specific type. She can't help it. She's a doppelbanger, douche banger, boring banger, or a thad banger. All wow. true, FYI. All true, and some, we should submit these to the writers because these are some really good alternatives. I know, I know. We got some good writers. I think the fans the are gonna get this one. I know you guys are gonna get this one. You believe that they're gonna get they're this gonna one? They're gonna get it. Okay, so where are we right now? You guys gotta let me know. Boat. Okay, so, oh, oh. Doppel and douchebanger are, are tied, neck and neck, which makes sense. No, okay, douchebanger pulled ahead. It. Okay. You guys are gonna get it, good, good. Molly, you wanna take a guess? Not I'd love you know. to guess. <laughs> Maybe I'm gonna guess um, Doppel, Banger. Let's go to the clip. <laughs> she can't help it, she's a Doppel Banger. It's Doppel Banger, they got it, they got it. But Molly still wins. Round of applause for Molly Bernard.
You got to take more noise than that. Okay, no one not, is applauding. No one is willing to no applaud. One. How does that make you feel? Uh, to the Liza. fans. Ooh. It makes me feel, um, to the fans who are watching, there are at least 25 people in this room and no one applauded at my win. <laughs> so I feel, I feel okay. I feel like I'm gonna I know it. that they're applauding at home. Liza. I know they are. Okay, Liza. Okay, okay, poll results. Okay, your results are in for what Lauren's spinoff show should be called. I really think this should happen, by the way. Okay, so the majority of you said, uh, Heller on Wheels. Interesting. What is that in reference to? Because that went right over Hell my head. Hell on Wheels. Like Kelly Catron? No, like that show. Isn't What's that a show? Hell me? on Wheels? Anyone? Just a fr oh, it's just a phrase. Just a phrase. Hello? Like Thank God I have a smart person in my ear. Really, thank oh, God. Oh, someone's talking in your ear? <laughs> Gorgeous. Oh, it's just a turn of phrase? Yeah, yeah. Hell on Wheels? Yeah, Hell on Wheels. Oh. Um, I loved Saved by the Heller because I love Saved by the Bell. That was like one of my faves. Yeah, Saved by the Bell was great. I really liked How I Met Your Heller. You did? Even though I don't watch How I Met Your Mother, but How <laughs> I Met Your Heller sounds really funny. And Pansexual in the City is good too. That is really good. I love it. And it's like a nice nod to Darren. You got it. Speaking of which, um, I'm getting a lot of Carrie Bradshaw fashion vibes from you. Me, what? Yes, is that like intentional? Did you even realize that? I'm feeling that this season On from this Lauren. Season? Yes. Well, Pat and Jackie love that I'm like, very short. You're like SJP-ish. Yeah, I have like a tiny little body, but like a butt and a waist and a like little girl. So they, they put me in anything. Oh, it so is. So maybe, maybe it's because it's Pat, because she did Sex and the City. Love it, it's so good. It's and fun. I saw that you Instagrammed out your outfit from Tonight Show. It, uh, yes, oh yes. Yes, oh Very guys, good outfit So tonight. good. And I look like a little poodle. I have these very oh, tight curls. It's just, it's just like delicious. Okay, fan questions. I'm a fan, I get to ask questions, but your questions as well. Let's go to Beth Ann G. Miriam Shore directed tonight's episode. Are you interested in directing too? Oh my gosh. Um, well, firstly, I think it's important to say that Miriam did an unbelievably outstanding job in directing this she episode. Did. It was, it was my favorite episode this season. Wow. And, and you know what? To, yeah, to this question, I think, I would love to direct. Now, after seeing Miriam do such a brilliant job, I'd love to. Yeah. I'd love Wouldn't to. It, is it hard to direct and act? I would imagine. Well, she was only in one scene in that episode. I forgot about that. So yep. that, that worked to her favor. Yeah. It, this episode is, oh, seriously amazing. It's so good. I can't wait for them. For you okay. guys. Okay. So I also can't read. Thank you. So Logue T says, Molly, if Lauren were to get a tattoo from Josh, what would it be? Ooh, good question. Golly. What would Lauren get? What would Lauren get? A falcon? <laughs> I almost <laughs> just said a falcon. See, telepathically connected. We are, seriously. <laughs> oh, for real, is that your answer? Well, yeah, what would Lauren, I can't imagine. Phone a friend, girl, I'm here for it. <laughs> I have no questions. idea, that's such a good question. I know, right? Maybe like a saying. I, she's so deep. She is so deep. Gosh, I have no idea. Well, I maybe she would just get like that. Justin Bieber. That's like Cause. homework. I know. We'll have to look into that one. Yes. Get back to you. Okay, Monica M has a question. Who would you like to see be a surprise guest on the show? Ooh. You know, honestly, I just, I love RuPaul. I wish RuPaul <gasps> would just show up. Just like show up one day oh. and just be like, hello, hello, hello. And I'd be like, hi, Mama Ru. Welcome, but Welcome. that, you know, Rue already was on Broad City, so oh. they, get, they get everything. <laughs> they get everything. Okay. Yeah, you guys get nothing, nothing. Okay guys, so tonight's episode of Younger is literally moments away, and we're gonna give, give you a sneak peek. This is what happens next, so I'm gonna play a clip from tonight's episode, then I pause it at a specific moment, and you're going to vote on what happens next. We're right by a fire department. Yeah, so, we are. Welcome to New York City. <laughs> um, it's also a super quick clip tonight, so pay close attention. I'm gonna hold on rolling it, just cause like, can they hear it? Of course they can, they're at home. We're the ones here. Roll the clip. <laughs> <laughs> Lauren, what the hell? Relax, it's for an event tonight. I told you it was super short, super short. Okay, so here is the poll. What do you think Lauren has in the living room? Is it an oil painting of herself, naturally? 
zoo animals from a petting zoo? Uh, is it swag bags or is it Pearl the advice giving dog? This dog is in every single poll that we've done of oh, getting younger. Oh, Pearl, cute. Okay, I know, right? Vote by typing your answer in the comment section below and we'll get to it in just a little bit. But while the fans are voting, Let's play my favorite game, In Vino Veritas, which translates to, in wine there is truth. So, I have an enormous wine glass. Do you remember this, Molly? No. Okay, so, when you guys were here for the first episode of Getting Younger, oh, we yes. had you write down questions, but like intimate questions. Uh. <laughs> Excuse me. So, are you nervous about it? No. Is, that a, is that like a, Maybe my, a Fred Durst like, oh, reaction? I, I, I have to and the answer a question. Well, I have to burp first. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have you stick your hand in here. Okay. Pull out a question and you have to answer it. This is like truth and truth, you can't pass. Okay. You have to say which co-star it's from. Oh, question from Peter. Uh oh, Peter okay. Herman. He's, this is gonna be deep, you guys. If you have a child, or if you imagine having a child. I can already. <laughs> you could guarantee that the child has one particular attribute, courage, humility, etc. what would it be? Oh, I love Peter Herman. I know, right? Um, Humor. I, I need a smart, funny kid. I like that. And uh, I think to have humor is also to have will. So I'm stretching the answer a bit, but um, humor. What were the options again? Well, he was like, we're f for example, courage, humility, etc. I would want my child to be incapable of lying. Incapable of lying? Incapable of lying. Because it would help me as a parent. Yes. And then also, I just, people, I, ironically I'm saying this on this show, I was about to say, people who lie are assholes, but <laughs> the whole show is have based you, on Have lying. you seen the cards that you're holding? Or do you know, <laughs> you know what you're doing right now? I, Liza. I, 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 I say by the Liza, okay. So let's see what you guys thought. Uh, what do you think Lauren has in that living room? And the majority of you said swag bags. Wait a second, are you guys like mind readers? Because I think that's what it could possibly be. Um, no spoilers, but that's exactly what it is. <laughs> no spoilers. Fired, fired from the TV show. Although, wouldn't it be funny if Lauren just had a room full of zoo animals? See, you couldn't lie. Yeah, no, That's I can't. That's the quality, lie. right? I, can't lie. It's <laughs> I love it. It's, it's a good terrible. quality. It's we actually have some time for some more fan questions. Yay! Which is fantastic. And I also have some questions as well. But first, let's go to uh, Kiana E. If you could play any other character in the show, who would you play? And oh, why? yeah. Um, I get asked, we get asked that a lot. We all kind of get asked that. Um, and most of us say that we want to play Maggie. Yep. <laughs> All, because? Because, well, Maggie's just so fierce and she's so great. Except Maggie doesn't leave the apartment often. At, like, ever, she's a bit of a hermit. She goes out to garden. She gardens. And she goes But she's out. just always giving the best advice. And also, if you think about it, Maggie's the person who got Liza in this whole mess in the first place. It's all her fault. It's all her fault. <laughs> yeah. So she's actually the real liar. She's, yeah. She's, yes. she's the show. But she's, ugh. I love myself, I love so Maggie. Debbie. Do you relate the most to your character, or is there another character that you actually relate the most to? Oh, great question, Taylor. Thanks. Uh, I think I relate because I am the age that I am. I think I relate the most to Kelsey. Yep. Yeah, and also I just love the way that Hillary plays her. That I'm always kind of. It's so good. She's right? so she's so great. Also, if you could swap fashion with another character, who would that be? Hillary. Hillary. I love. Didn't even hesitate. I didn't. I did. It's so good. It's so good. Do you ever get jealous, by the way? Jealous? No, because I love her so much. But you're like, well, I want to wear that. Oh no! Straight up, I'll be like, let me try it on. She's like, uh -huh, no, your chest and my chest are not the same thing. And I'm like, let me put it on. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> okay, let's go to John G. Will Lauren have a love interest? Great question. Uh, that would be so cool to see. Yeah, what's you know, up with your love life? Yes, that would be so cool to see this season. T to be... Wink, wink. Yeah, like this season, Lauren does have a love interest, but huh? it's in a... You'll see. It, your guys are going to love Diana? It. No. <laughs> but we have some great stuff together this season. Are you and Maggie ever going to get back together? I don't know. Okay, let's go to the fan questions. I'm getting dangerously close to the fire. Let's fire. go to Corey HW. Uh, are you team Josh or team Charles? I love that this question still exists because I felt like last year it was like no more of this question and people are still like loving it. And I'm still here oh, for it. Oh yeah. Golly, you know, I, I 
shift back and forth. You go back and forth. I, I do. Also, I'm so close with Nico, and Peter is so lovely, so I have to really watch it and separate it. Right. The Sex and the City fan in me loves the notion of Charles as, like, a big figure. Yes. But the chemistry between, you know, Josh and Liza is so, like, un you can't miss it, so... Yeah. I don't know. I think currently I'm team Charles, but I might get fired from friendship by Nico if he, <laughs> if he found that out. So it's not like I'm saying it on a public platform or anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm team Josh because it represents like the journey that most people don't normally take. Yes. Yes. I think. Which is like what I try to be all about. Change my mind. Okay. Okay. Team Charles, and now you, and team now Josh. you can still be friends. Team Charles, team Josh. No, I'm just sorry. trying to save your friendship here. Team Josh. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, that's it for us tonight. Yay! Yes. Thank you so much for hanging out with us, Molly Bernard. We love you, love you, love you to bits and pieces. Love you. And also, you guys, thank you to Rent the Runway for this fab coat. I love it. She looks gorgeous. Thank you. She says thank you. And thanks to the fans, you guys. We love you for watching. This show doesn't exist without you. So thank you so much. We'll be back next week with Debbie Mazar. Uh huh. And in the meantime. Be sure to check out our podcast, Younger Uncovered. I host it, and a new episode comes out every Wednesday. So check it out tomorrow and catch up if you're behind. We're going to leave you now with some amazing bloopers from tonight's episode. Bye, guys. See you next week. Bye. You look tiny. You look so hungry. <laughs> <laughs> you saw that I'm really old. It's hard to believe, I know. <laughs> oh. That book surprised a lot of us. What the f is the line? <laughs> <laughs> it's offensive to the LGBTQIA PK community. Uh, you lost me after tea. <laughs> me too. <laughs> you eat your mascara. I gotta do that all over again. <laughs> I don't know what the f happened. Ew. That's good. I like it. Don't look at me when you do it. Is there music playing? No, this is a silent party. <laughs> music is out. There's no music allowed. <laughs> We're gonna be late for the Reese meeting. Oh, I gotta go. I go. I gotta. I look right at the camera. I gotta go. I'm a freelancer. <laughs> <laughs> you need some time to chew? No. Oh. Ooh, wow. Mom, stop. Oh, People yeah. are watching. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> smells kind of good. Yeah. Oh, oh, you still so ah! <laughs> I didn't know that was happening. I was about to scratch my butt. Oh my god. <laughs> Subscribe to Younger Uncovered. The podcast dedicated to all things younger.